I'm Father Bill Casey, and uh, I should tell you first that uh, um, my hometown is Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Sorry, uh, and I'm a lifelong uh, Eagles fan. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now, in case you don't know Tim, being from out of town, uh, uh, there is a great brotherhood, a great fraternity between the Cowboys and the Eagles over the years. <laughs> I'm a Redskins fan. <laughs> Uh, I, I'm a father of mercy, and uh, the apostle of the fathers of mercy is to preach parish missions and retreats and traditional Catholic devotions of all kinds. So uh, we are an order of traveling preachers. In fact, I just finished a mission uh, down in West Texas, the town where the, uh, the explosion took place uh, about this time. But um, I have spoken at many of these men's conferences, and um, you know it is great to see these men's conferences bringing up around the country in so many different places. And to me, it's an indication that maybe, just maybe, the guys are starting to get off the fence and get into the fray. Yeah. Fellas, we need the work that you do. This is vitally important to the future of the church in this country, because I'll tell you what, in my opinion, from what I can see traveling around the country, Time is not on our side in all this. Mm -hmm. Believe me, you know, Pope Francis right now is calling on us not just to be disciples of Christ, but to truly be what he calls evangelizing disciples, right? Actively engaged in the work of evangelization. That's what you're doing here. So I, I thank God for the work that you do and for the ability to participate in this. You know, the church teaches that. Uh, an event like this is truly a graced event. Uh, that is to say, it's an event where the Holy Spirit will be at work in a special way in, in the minds, the hearts, and the souls of those who participate in good faith. And I always say this, if an event like this helps just one person, right? if it strengthens the faith of just one person, if it brings just one soul closer to Christ, if it brings about just one good confession, if it brings one back to the sacraments, it's a success for the sake of that one, right? It's the infinite value of the single soul in the sight of Almighty God. So we uh, we pray for its success. And I thank you for the invitation. During this conference, we have been talking about what it means to be a man of God and a loyal son of the church. A few years ago, I got a lesson in what it means to be a loyal son of the church when I was speaking at a family conference in California. And the keynote speaker that summer was one of the most extraordinary men that I've ever known. Bishop Andrew Francis of the Diocese of Moltan, Pakistan. Bishop Francis has been in the Catholic news recently for advocating the cause for canonization of Shabazz Bati. Shabazz Bati was the Catholic cabinet minister, the only Christian member of the Pakistani government who was ambushed, shot and killed by Islamic militants back in March of last year. Shabazz Bati was targeted by Muslim radicals for his courageous, outspoken defense of human rights, the rights of Christians, the rights of women and the poor, and especially for his criticism of the country's so-called blasphemy laws, which essentially make it a crime to openly profess any faith other than Islam. Now, Shabazz Bati knew he was going to die. He had gotten so many death threats he told the bishops there he knew he was going to be assassinated. It was only a matter of time. But he told them that he was ready, ready to give his life for Christ. Shortly before his death, he issued a statement to the Christians of Pakistan. He said this, I have been asked to put an end to my battle, but I have always refused, even at the risk of my own life. My response has always been the same. I do not want popularity. I do not want positions of power. I only want a place at the feet of Jesus. I want my life, my character, my actions to speak of me and say that I am following Jesus Christ. 
This desire is so strong in me that I consider myself privileged whenever in my combative effort to help the needy, the poor, the persecuted Christians of Pakistan, Jesus should wish to accept the sacrifice of my life. I want to live for Christ and it is for him that I want to die. I do not feel any fear in this country.